So we're talking about the return now. So the, on the release, my shoulders are turned back. They're angled back, quarter turn. Okay. I'm sitting up. Okay. I might have a slight bend forward, slight bend forward, but mostly sitting up. Okay. Now when you come forward, your head straight ahead. It's in the middle of the canoe. You're not leaning over this way. Don't put your shoulder out. Keep your ear inside this gunnel. Okay. A slight hinge because you just finished the previous slope stroke. You have a slight hinge to your body, maybe 10 degrees or so. Now, as you swing up, you're pulling with the top hand and assisting with this bottom hand. Assisting with the bottom hand enough to give to tighten your core a little bit. Okay. Now you want to assist because if a wave hits you in the middle of your stroke and knocks you to your side. You're in a position to stroke, okay? Or, if depending on if it's a huli side, you flip up and push down like this to prevent the huli if you're opposite the uh, ama, okay? Now, if you're on the ama side, then as you come up, you would just push down like this and pry up, okay? Pry that ama back down, okay? So. We're using the top hand to pull a sword from its scabbard. And as we do so, our shoulders are twisted. As we do so, and we're slightly forward, we're going to pull across the gunnels. My hand's gonna, top hand's going to come across the gunnel. And as I do so, I sit upright. Now, when I'm at this position, I'm sitting upright. Okay. So I'm slightly forward, pull and sit up. And now I'm going to hinge forward at the same time that I'm going to rotate my top hand in a corkscrew. And it's a corkscrew because we're going forward, okay, to the reach position, okay. So I come across, sit up. Now I'm hinging forward as I'm bringing this across. And my shoulders, I want to come at some point during this second half of the return. My shoulders want to be turned at a 45 degree, both shoulders at a 45 degree. So you come forward, come forward, then you're turning. Now, your shoulders are going to be able to turn when your hand is out here in the middle. But if, once you bring it over, your shoulders tend to straighten up. Okay. Once you come to the full side where it's one hand is stacked on the other, your shoulders will tend to straighten up. Now you're going to the catch. Now when you go to the catch, you want to drop in so that you don't create swirls at, with your paddle. Okay? And it's a, no resistance. I don't want to see somebody slamming down with their top hand. The more pressure you put down, that, that translates up your arm through your butt and it's pushing the boat down, which makes more resistance, okay? So you want to feel a smooth entry when you come in. Now, once that blade is buried, once that blade is buried, your hand should be about maybe two fist lengths in front, top hand should be about two fist lengths in front of your forehead. And then you're applying power. So you apply power by pushing with this shoulder, the top hand shoulder, and pulling with with the bottom hand shoulder and both hands travel together okay now it's a very short distance if they travel but you want them to travel together i what i see a lot of is you get you you, you come into the catch and then people just push down like this so their their hand drops down into an arc and then it will arc here and then lift up like this okay we want front to back, and then your hand, top hand drops, and it comes out, and you just push back a little bit more, and your, and your paddle's totally out of the water. There's nothing you have to do. You don't have to lift up. Now, that's for the full stroke where you, your both hands are near the gunnel. Now, what happens when we're in the short stroke or any stroke in between? Our paddle is still buried in the water. How do we get it out? We pull 
with our top hand across the gunnel and it kicks the blade out like this. Okay? Do not come up like this. All right? We want to kick it out. So in the short stroke, kick it out, come up. If it's a medium stroke, kick it out, come up. And then the long stroke, all the way back, and it just naturally comes out. Your hands are on the gun, and your shoulders are twisted. Okay? So in the release phase, in the power phase, power phase, we've got our catch. Our blade is totally buried. And now we're pushing with the top shoulder, pulling with the bottom shoulder, but the blade remains upright. So, and as you're coming back, it's pivoting on the top hand. So if I come in, I bury my blade, now begins the pivot, I come back, it's pivoting slightly, now it's pivoting more on the top hand. Now the other way you could do it, and what way we've done in the past, where we pivoted on the bottom hand initially. And the problem with that is it causes cavitation. It causes the, the blade to slip in the water because you're you're putting it, your hand at one position, and then you're pushing the blade like this. And that hand remains in the same position and pivoting on that hand. Both hands have to be moving together. Okay? So you come in, move, come back. Now, you apply power. There may be a slight setup, but, but your back is straight. You don't curl down. Okay? Your back is straight, you apply power, and then as you release, you set up. So at, at the entire power phase, you maintain that same uh, hinge, okay? You maintain that same hinge all through, and then as you release, you start to sit up. And you come up to a slight angle, and then when you go for the next one, you sit up, and then push forward, set your blade, power, Drop your hand, release, and then repeat. Everybody understand that? Now the other thing is that during the power phase, you're pushing your hips to your heels. That's the power. You're transferring that pressure on your blade. That blade is just sunk in the sand. Like right now, it's sunk in the sand. And I am trying to push forward. Okay? I'm trying to push the push forward and push my hips to my heels. Do you feel them both going forward? Okay. And the blade just stays in one place. Okay. That's what we're hoping for. There's enough pressure on that blade. It stays in one place and you're pushing the canoe to your blade. Okay. You're not pulling your blade to the canoe. That's what happens when the blade slips through the water. When we start doing the long stroke, when we talk about long stroke, that's when we come out of the water at the back with our hands at the gunnel. Now our blade's totally out. That's the long stroke. Short stroke is up here, you know, at the race start. And then in the middle, we could be doing short, slightly short stroke, then a slightly shorter stroke, or a longer stroke, I should say. Then all the way to the long stroke. Okay. And what we're trying to do is be faster of us pushing the canoe forward. Okay. So you can interpret that as the blade traveling through the water faster, but that's not what's happening. We're pushing the canoe towards the blade, and we're doing it faster and faster. That's why we want core strength. That's why we want everybody to develop their core strength on off days so that you can push the canoe faster and faster, okay?